Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, we are going to be reviewing another Ratty Box. So this is the Ratty Box for September, and you can already tell what's my favorite part, uh, but we'll get to that in a second, uh, because I just want to quickly go over what Ratty Box is for anyone new. So Ratty Box is a rat subscription service. It's specifically made for pet rats. You get five to six items each month and you pay a monthly fee of about $30 uh, for the monthly one. They also have another one that they sell which is hammocks and some treats and that one I believe is $15. Now the five to six items include one special item like the big one you're going to see in a minute along with a hammock slash comfort item, uh, an activity slash foraging item, and a treat or two. Now, if you would like to check out Ratty Box or order one of your own, I will be linking their website along with their Facebook page below. You can order on their website and you can PM the Facebook page if you have any other questions. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with reviewing this box. So the very first thing in the box that I wanna review is this little hide. Uh, this came to me completely unzipped. I will probably play a video of me zipping it up. Uh, but basically it is a cute little bunny shaped animal hide and it looks like a pink eyed white bunny and I have quite a special fondness for pink eyed white animals uh, especially with some of my current rats. Uh, three of my current rats are pink eyed whites or well technically two of them and one's a Himalayan but it's uh, very similar. Anyways I am very excited about this hide. I think it's really cute and I'm probably going to be keeping it out of the cage because my rats will totally destroy it and I would like it to stick around a little bit longer uh, and when I say keeping it out of the cage I mean I will keep it in the free range area for example I have this one right here this is a mouse or rat hide that I got a month or two ago uh, from Ratty Box and I've been keeping it outside the cage the rats have really enjoyed sleeping in it and kind of just climbing around over it and they haven't destroyed it because it's not in their cage whereas when I put one in the cage it does tend to get destroyed uh, either within a few days or if the rats are feeling nice, uh, they'll give it a few weeks. So overall, I really like these hides. I think they're great quality, but unfortunately the rats can sometimes be a bit destructive with them. But anyways, the rats really like these. They like to sleep in them. They like to climb all over them. And of course, sometimes they like to chew them, but uh, that is not my preferred use of it. They are really cool though, and so far I have not had a repeating one. I've gotten 10 ratty boxes so far, so the fact that none of these little hides have repeated is pretty neat. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing in the ratty box. As you can see, uh, the next thing is a donut. We ship a donut with every single ratty box. No, I'm kidding. Uh, imagine if the rats came with the ratty box. Not great for the rats, but man, that would be cute. Okay, so next up is this nice hammock. This is a really soft and nice quality hammock. Uh, I like that they put this soft material on the inside. Usually with these sorts of hammocks, they will just have this weird canvassy material and I really don't like this. Uh, it just doesn't seem very comfortable and the rats don't tend to like to sleep on this sort of stuff in my experience, but they really do enjoy the ones that have some fuzz inside like this one. I got another hammock like this in a previous ratty box and the rats used it all the time. So I think they will be very happy to have this one as well. Uh, and the nice thing about these is that they are big enough for several rats. I have six rats, so them being able to curl up together is always really nice. So yeah, this is a really cool hammock, and my rats are going to enjoy it quite a bit. The next thing in this one's ratty box is this Perfect Chew Katie Chew Toy. So this is a wooden chew kebab with these little wooden pieces. Uh, the rats can move them around, but most likely they will chew them uh, or they will chew off the end of the stick and then take these pieces and start stashing them. That's what my rats tend to do. And uh, I think it's pretty funny because then I'll find the wooden pieces in random places where they decide to stash them. Uh, but anyways, they seem to like these. My rats actually weren't really big chewers for the longest time. So I was pretty surprised when I got one of these in Ratty Box and put it in the cage. And this group decided that they would indeed like to chew it. And because of that, these have been a really nice addition because I put them in the cage and by the time the rats chew them up, I end up with another one from Ratty Box. So it kind of all works out. So the next thing in the Ratty Box, before we get to what the rats really want, is this right here, this lava star. So this is made out of pumice stone. 
Uh, you can see it's pink, blue, and white. I know the pink doesn't really show up on camera, but it is all three colors. Uh, and this is just something the rats can chew on. Uh, they can move it around, but mainly they're just going to chew on it. It's made of the same stuff as lava ledges, which are those pumice stone ledges that you can attach to the cage bars. Uh, of course, this one is a hanging chew, but it's made of the same stuff and perfectly fine for the rats to chew on. Anyways, this is a cool little star-shaped thing, and I think my rats will enjoy it. Okay, so next up is what the rats really enjoy, and that is some treats. So Ratty Box always gives you a different treat pack. In this case, it is dates and oat flour, which I think I got once before from them. And now the rats are coming to join us. I see how this is, guys. I see how it is. Okay, so they are very excited about that. As you can see, they immediately know what's in here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm giving you some. There you go. There you go. Yeah, they really love this stuff. Man, look how big that piece that Pickles eating is. Okay, here you go, Egg. Oh, man, that's a huge piece. Come here, Olive. Olive, come here. Come here. There you go. <laughs> oh, you can see little donut over there eating it. There she is. So yeah, they really love the treats. They're always a hit. I've gotten pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and all sorts of stuff from Ratty Box, but this time it is one of their favorites, which is dried fruit. Uh, and they really seem to like it in this oat flour, so that's pretty cool as well. That's pretty much it for this one's Ratty Box. As you can see, they have their little Ratty Box card right here. Uh, and we have some tissue paper, which I'm going to put in the box cage because they like to chew this up. And of course we have the box, which as we all know is the rat's favorite part. I kid, I kid, but seriously, they will enjoy chewing it up. Okay, so that's it for this month's ratty box. And as you can see, the rats are all excited about their new things. Uh, and I am also very happy with what came in this month's ratty box. I'm always pleased with it, but I especially like the hide in this month's. It's just really cute to me, and I really want to get some pictures of my own pink-eyed white girls in it because it's just such a nice little hide. And as I said before, I will be linking their website and Facebook page in the description and comments below, so go ahead and check them out there if you'd like. That's it for this video, so I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!